Hey guys, welcome back to Treadmill Review Guru. Today we're gonna to take a look at our top 10 exercise bikes for 2021. As you can see, I have an assortment of bikes behind me. Each of these bikes has made the top 10 list because of some unique features and specs, the overall feel and the affordability. So let's dive into our top five and take a look at which ones made the list. All right, guys, coming in number five in our top 10 list is the MyX Fitness Bike. This is one of the bikes you may not be familiar with. It's a newer model on the market, and there's a few reasons why we have selected this as our number five in our top five. One of the reasons is because, as you can see, this bike has incredible span. I've raised the seat all the way up. I've lifted the handlebars all the way up, and this is one of the few bikes with an attached touchscreen where you can actually shift the handlebars forward and back. So it will work really well for riders of all sizes. It drops down to a really low height for shorter, smaller riders, and as you can see, raises. So it's a great option for taller riders, which is one reason I like it. Now, this is a friction resistance bike, which means that when you adjust the resistance knob, a pad presses down on that flywheel to create friction against the flywheel. It's not ideal for a few reasons. One, it can be a little bit noisy. Two, it can wear out over time. And three, you don't get customized resistance levels. But MyX Fitness does include training content that is specific for heart rate zones. So it includes an armband and each class is calibrated so that you work within your heart rate zones. So that's a few of the reasons why I really like it. This is a great option for larger users, people who appreciate and understand heart rate training, and people who are okay with friction resistance. It also includes training content, so it's good for those who are looking for a subscription, and it does have exceptionally high max resistance. When I turn this thing all the way up, I can literally stand on that bike and not be able to move the pedals. So the MyX Fitness Bike coming in at number five. Okay guys, coming in number four on our top 10 list is the Soul SB900. And there's a few reasons that I really like this bike. This bike does not have an attached touchscreen, as you can see, which means that it doesn't require a monthly subscription. For people who just wanna jump on and go, are good with their own training, or would like to use third-party apps on a tablet or a phone, this is a great option. Soul also builds extremely durable bikes. This bike is very sturdy, it's very comfortable while you're riding. It also syncs with a Bluetooth chest strap so that it will provide your heart rate right there on the console. And the adjustable tablet holder has room for tablets of most size. I also really like that this uses an adjustment knob. I just find that a little more intuitive than hitting buttons on a screen. I really like the way the knob feels. And it also includes hybrid pedals. So as you can see, it will work with an SPD cleat or you can just use standard athletic shoes. The flywheel is 48 pounds and the heavier the flywheel, typically the smoother you get a rotation. It will also support your weight when you stand up out of that bike. So there's several reasons why I really like the Soul SB900. You also have four levels of adjustment. The seat will go up and down as well as forward and back. The handlebars will also raise and shift forward and back. And it does have a pretty high weight capacity. So this is a great bike for riders of all sizes. We've designated this bike our best bike in 2021 that doesn't require a subscription. So if you're in the market for something that's quiet and easy to use, take a look at the Soul SB900. Coming in at number three on our list is the ProForm Pro 22. And this has been updated in 2021 and now includes a 22 inch touchscreen. And there's a few things about this bike that I really like. One, all the functionality is completely integrated into the touchscreen. So you don't have any extra buttons, anything that you have to worry about. This right here is not a resistance knob, it's only a brake. So you'll only need it to slow that flywheel. You have magnetic resistance, so you can adjust your resistance levels right in the screen. It also comes with iFit free for the first year and includes both indoor and outdoor rides. And the resistance is automated with the bike. 
So as you ride along on a route, the resistance will increase or decrease depending on the difficulty of that particular route. You can always override it if you need to, but it makes riding it feel very natural. It does include the weights that I prefer to be back here behind the saddle so that you can reach them if you need to, but they're not in your way on every ride. A few things to be aware of, this does not have hybrid pedals. So you just have a standard pedal right here with your adjustable clip on the top. So it will only work with regular athletic shoes. It does have some adaptability as far as size. That seat will raise up quite a bit, but the handlebars, this is as high as they go. So for larger riders, you may find yourself leaning down quite a bit. So I recommend this bike for people maybe six foot and under. But in general, it's a fantastic bike, very affordable. And that's why we have designated it our best bike under $1,500. Okay guys, we're getting close to the top of our list. Coming in at number two is the Bowflex C6 bike. And there's a few reasons that we have ranked this our number two bike for 2021. It is an excellent bike if you do not want an attached touchscreen or a monthly subscription. There's a lot of riders out there who just wanna jump on and go, they don't wanna pay for that extra content and they don't wanna pay for a specific subscription. And this bike has a lot of functionality but doesn't require you to be locked in to a specific subscription. However, it does have a tablet holder and it is Bluetooth enabled, so it will actually sync with third-party apps. If you pay for the digital Peloton subscription, you can use it on this bike and you will get some data on your screen that is integrated with Peloton. You can also use iFit. You could use any cycling app that you want to. So it gives you a lot of options without being locked into one specific thing. The other thing I love about the Bowflex is it kind of provides you the best of all options. So it does have magnetic resistance but it also includes a resistance knob, which as I've mentioned before, is kind of my favorite way to adjust resistance. It also has 100 resistance levels, which to me makes sense. I always kind of know where I am between one and 100. So I love the fact that it has that magnetic resistance and it has 100 resistance levels. You do have adjustable geometry. You can raise those handlebars and shift them forward, as well as raise that saddle and shift it back. It also has hybrid pedals. So you got the option of the SPD clips or a flat athletic shoe will work with this bike. So this is a great all round option and we have rated it our best exercise bike under $1,000 because it comes in at a really affordable price point. So if you're looking for something simple that will sync with third party apps, take a look at the Bowflex C6. All right, we're at the top of our list. Here it is. The number one bike for 2021 is the Nordic Track S22i. This bike has all the bells and whistles. So if you are looking for something that is tech enabled, that has magnetic resistance, a heavy flywheel, is very comfortable and easy to use, the S22i is our top option. So there's a few things that I wanna point out about this bike. One is that you do have that lovely 22 inch touchscreen. It really pulls you in and makes you feel like you're part of that ride. The second thing, you have an incline decline motor. So this bike will actually incline as you ride uphill and decline as you ride downhill. It makes rides feel very natural. And the automated resistance in iFit means that both the resistance and the incline will adjust as you ride along. One thing that iFit offers that I really love is lots of outdoor rides. You've got gravel rides, road rides, trail rides. So you can hop on and get a really immersive experience, especially with that incline, decline, and automatic adjustable resistance, because it's just like you are riding the trails outside. You don't have to navigate the bike, but you can always override the functionality if you want to. So iFit comes free for the first year, which allows you an opportunity to explore all the content and see how much value it has to you. The bike does adjust so that seat will lift and shift forward and back and you can raise the handlebars. It also includes these front weights and this bike does have magnetic resistance. So it's very quiet and you do get those targeted resistance levels. All the functionality is embedded in the touchscreen, but you do have some adjustable buttons right here on the handlebars, which is nice when you're leaning forward, they're in easy reach and it includes this very easy stop knob, but this isn't an adjustment knob. So it also has comfortable pedals. These are not hybrid pedals. 
They're just a standard flat pedal, so any rider can jump on this bike and use it at any time. It also has a heavy flywheel with a very smooth feel and pretty impressive max resistance. So this bike should work well for most riders. And this is why we have designated the Nordic Track S22i our number one bike in 2021. Okay, let's take a look at the next five bikes on our top 10 list. So coming in at number six is the Nordic Track S15i. I really like this bike because it gives you all the functionality of the S22i. The only difference is it has a slightly smaller screen. Once you get it home, that 15 inch screen is more than efficient. So it really is a great option. It's a little more affordable, but you do get the iFit content, you get the automated incline and decline, you get the indoor and outdoor rides. So we have designated this our best exercise bike for home use. All right, coming in at number seven is the Echelon EX 5S. This is one of Echelon's bikes that includes an attached touchscreen. It does have a nice 21.5 inch touchscreen and it will display Echelon classes. So you get training and content on a more affordable bike. It also has a V-shaped design, which allows a little more expansive room for taller riders. So we have designated the Echelon EX 5S the best rear flywheel exercise bike in 2021. Coming in at number eight is the Soul SB700. Now this bike I really like. It has friction resistance, which can be noisy and you don't get the specified magnetic resistance levels. However, it has extremely high maximum resistance. It also has an impressive 300 pound weight capacity. So this is our best bike for larger users. It's great for people who just wanna jump on and go. You don't wanna pay for a subscription. It's very comfortable, has a 48 pound flywheel. We're really impressed with the Soul SB700. Coming in at number nine is the Proform Pro Studio Bike. So there's a couple reasons I like this bike. It's very similar to the Pro 22, except it just has a smaller touchscreen. So you're getting a 10 inch touchscreen rather than a 22 inch touchscreen. But as I mentioned, once you get the bike home in your house, uh, a lot of times that 10 or 15 inch touchscreen is more than sufficient. The other thing I like about this bike is it is offered as part of Proform's Plus program, which means that they will actually ship the bike to you for free at no cost when you sign up for three years of the family iFit plan. So we have rated this our best budget exercise bike because it's a great option for people who just wanna jump right in, get that bike, doesn't cost you anything initially, and then you just have that iFit subscription for three years, which really we presume most people would use anyway. All right, rounding out our list, number 10 on our top 10 is of course the Peloton bike. We've got the Peloton bike and the Bike Plus. These are both exceptional exercise bikes. Peloton is very popular. People love the training content. The classes and the instructors are really fun. It is on the pricier end, which is why we've put it down on the bottom of our list. However, for people who are willing to pay for the Peloton content, the bike is very comfortable, it's very quiet. You can ride with friends and have a great immersive experience. So as you can see guys, we have a lot of really great bikes to choose from this year. 2021 has provided exceptional offerings as far as exercise bikes go. So each of these bikes has some specific features and functionality. Hopefully this video has helped you decide which one is best for you. If you'd like more information about any of these bikes specifically, check us out at treadmillreviewguru.com. For current pricing, click the link below. And as always, if you liked our video, make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. We'll see you again soon.